Welcome back to part two of the snifter valve research. So I've had a little time to think and uh, two things came to mind. The hole is too big, which we established before, and it's possible that the check valve is too high and the hole I put is too low so that no matter uh, how big or small the hole is, that uh, is always going to be underwater. So I've got a, a longer pipe and I put a hole in it that is smaller um, thanks to the uh, suggestion of David Lister. He says use a nail to uh, either heat it up and stick it into the pipe to melt a hole or um, hammer it in. But I actually found that it's best to use a screw and uh, screw the hole into the pipe. So the hole is uh, really small, smaller than the uh, previous one. So let's go ahead and change this out and see if we get some better results this time. I think I'm gonna unscrew this from the drive pipe here before I go removing pipes. It's much too cold out here to be getting wet. So you can see here, what I was talking about, the water level is up to right here, and the hole I put in is down here, so there's you know a couple inches there difference. So what I'm thinking is, put this pipe where uh, this joint is here to bring this up to above that water level. So let's see how well it's gonna unscrew here. Hopefully this will cover up that previous hole well enough. I enjoy this kind of stuff. Learning things that I've not ever learned before. Well, puts our hole in the backside from our previous test, but we'll give it a try anyway. I can already see a big difference in the amount of water flowing out of that tiny hole. So I'm going to close off the delivery valve here. So it's got still a, a bit of pressure being lost from that tiny hole, but let's see if we can at least get this thing started. I hope that hole's not too big. Let's see if I cover it up, if we'll get this thing started. Yeah. We may have done it again. The hole is small though. Very tiny. I'm going to let it build up. Right now it's at the uh, level of 7. So I'm going to see what happens if it gets to like 8 or so. What that pressure will do. Almost there. Okay, I'm going to release this and see what happens. Hey, it's still going. Okay. And there's some exciting results. So before I show you the results, I just wanted to mention that I do sell four different sizes of ram pump at landahouse.com. So if you want to pump water uphill, um, go check those out. And there's also a free ebook there if you want to learn more about them or if you want to build your own. So let's check out this pump. Check that out. With every cycle of the pump, there's a little gulp of air that's pulled in by that tiny hole. So what this does is keeps this from becoming waterlogged over, let's say, two, three, four months, a year, however long you're running your pump. Because let's say there's a, a lean to your pump, this will slowly start to lose um, air space. Um, so in the pumps I sell, this whole thing is filled up with a uh, bike inner tube. So there's always airspace, even if uh, there's a lean to the pump or you know time passes. So you always get some form of uh, pumping. 
but with the snifter valve you don't have to have the inner tube and it will continue to replenish this air space um, with each cycle of the pump. Well, I'm pleased with those results. I do have a few um, predictions though. If you had less feet of head, um, the hole that I put in here may be too big. So the hole needs to be tiny. So I mean, when you uh, use that screw to put the hole in, just barely visible on the inside of the pipe because this is even just a little bit too big. Um, so like I was saying, if there was, let's say you had only two feet of head, um, the closed systems with the inner tube inside would work just fine. Um, I've gotten them to work at one foot of head. But I think there's enough pressure loss here on the snifter valve to cause those pumps to stop. Not tested it, so maybe wrong, but that's my prediction. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for tests I should do in the future, let me know. And uh, as always, thanks for being a subscriber and viewer. Push that like button, and I will see you next time. Bye.